With the end of the summer near, that means a brand new athletic season is just upon us. And with that, a brand new head cheerleading coach here at Liberty University. Let's welcome in Jordan Ballard, who is not a stranger to the program by any stretch of the imagination. Jordan, congratulations on the new position. When did you find out it was going to be open here this past spring? And what were the steps to getting the job for you? Uh, thank you very much. I uh, found out that um, the head coach, uh, Jenny Sidnor, who'd been here for six years and who'd really built up the program and kind of made Liberty Cheerleading what it is today, she was going to be retiring uh, for various reasons, stay home with her family. She's also pursuing a physical therapy degree and whatnot. And that was uh, basically uh, in the month of May, and she was going to be finishing at the end of May. So I knew over the summer they would be uh, candidating to, uh, I would be candidating to uh, take the head coaching position. And then I knew that the administration wanted to uh, look outside the university and see if uh, they could find the best head coach. And so I'm very uh, honored to be that candidate and uh, to be the one who was selected. And I'm, I'm ready to move forward with the program. We have a great group of cheerleaders. We had a great time in camp this past week. And uh, it's just going to be a great season. Jordan, you talk about camp. You guys went up to Pennsylvania. And tell us what city you were in, the couple days you spent there, what all you got accomplished. We were in the Electric City, that's Scranton, Pennsylvania. So we took a group of 25 cheerleaders plus one mascot up there and uh, one coach being me. And so we went up there. And uh, the way camp works up there is it's, it's a learning time, but it's also a time for competition because up in the Northeast, uh, we have some of the teams that compete against our small co-ed team at the uh, large co uh, college nationals down in uh, Orlando, Florida in January. So we had teams in our own division. So it was a time for us to learn, you know, for the new cheerleaders to kind of get acclimated to Liberty Cheerleading, but also for us to perform. So we had a fight song competition that we entered and, and did great in. We had uh, evaluations every single day. We got superior ribbons for those. And then we had a camp competition and then uh, our team was awarded with most collegiate which is a great award for us because that means that to the staff who sees uh, college teams every single week week to week all across the country you know Big 12 teams Big 10 Pac-12 all these different places and, and teams they see they voted Liberty University cheerleaders as some of the most collegiate that they see you look at athletics now it's almost a every day of the year type of industry and cheerleading is no different so when you look at football who conditions during the summer to prepare for the fall, how do you gauge and work on improvement in a cheerleading squad as you get ready for the next season? Well, one of the most important things is just working the fundamentals. That's what we've been doing this week, preparing for uh, football season. Just getting the fundamentals of uh, stunting, you know, basket tosses, pyramids, um, pop downs, tosses, even uh, motions and practicing spiriting and leading a crowd. Everything from yelling to smiling to shaking pom-poms, everything you can think of for cheerleading. Uh, one thing that I've been talking with the seniors a lot about is just going back to those fundamentals and making sure that we are the best university. Dr. Fowler used to say, if it's Christian, it should be better. And that's been kind of our motto this year. Our theme verse for our squad for this season is Colossians 3, 23 and 24. It says, and whatever you do, work out with all your heart as working unto the Lord, for as the Lord Christ you serve. So we want to work our very hardest to be the absolute best cheerleading team and, and so far we're off to a great start. Jordan you cheered here you graduated from here you've coached here how enriching is it for you now to be the head cheerleading coach at Liberty? It is very uh, very satisfying and, and very uh, gratifying and just honoring. Uh, I cheered here in 2002, 2003 grad and in 2004 graduated in 2004 I met my wife through Liberty Cheerleading so that has been a uh, continual blessing in that regard but Coming back and you know just seeing the way the program has grown and developed, and just seeing that Liberty Cheerleading really is at its absolute best. Like many things in the university, you know, football team and basketball, and just all these teams that are just the absolute best they've ever been. It's really exciting to be here. So before we say goodbye to all the fans right now in this video, don't forget you have a responsibility when you get to the stadium, whether it be football, basketball, baseball, wherever you are. There is a wrong way to do a pom-pom. So Jordan and his staff will be able to help you with that. Jordan, congratulations. Welcome back. And well, you never left, but uh, welcome to the new post here as a head cheerleading coach. Go LU. Uh, it's Jordan Ballard, our new cheerleading coach here at Liberty. I'm Alan York for Liberty Flame Sports Network.